Hey there, welcome back to AI Code King. Today, we'll be talking about the LLM Answer Engine. The Answer Engine is an open source perplexity inspired answer engine. It is built with Next.js and supports Grok, Mixtral, and OpenAI models such as GPT 4.0, GPT 4, and GPT 3.5. You can also use it with any other API if you want but all the APIs need to be OpenAI compatible. Otherwise, it wouldn't work. You can connect it with either Brave or Serper for searching. If you don't know about Brave or Serper, let me tell you that they are basically search engines as APIs. They allow applications like this to search the internet and find results based on your search. I would have really liked it if they added an integration with something like CRXNG to get rid of these API keys, but that's not supported yet. Anyway, both of the services that you can connect it with provide limited usage for free. It also utilizes Langchain for connecting all of these things together. It can also fetch stock prices, product prices, locations, maps, and most of the things you can think of. It also utilizes Cheerio to scrape the web pages of each result to make sure that the data you get is correct and detailed. It's highly customizable. You can tweak the settings to your heart's content and it's really easy to use. So, now let's look at the API keys that they say you need to configure it. As you can see over here, the first one is the OpenAI key, the second one is the Grok key, the third one is the Brave Search key, and the fourth one is the Serper key. But you don't need to actually configure all of these keys. The OpenAI API key over here is only used for text embeddings. If you don't know what text embeddings are, then let me tell you that this is the way raw text is converted to vector data, which allows for semantic search between the data. Anyway, to get rid of the OpenAI key, they provide an Olama embeddings option in their config file. So, we'll be able to use it without the OpenAI key. We'll also not need the Brave Search key because it is only a backup to the Serper API key. So, we'll only need two keys. The first one is from Grok, and the second one is from Serper. You can also get rid of the Grok key if you prefer to use it locally via Olama. They provide you an option for it in their config. But I wouldn't recommend it, as the inference speed will be much lower if you use it via Olama. Also, Grok's API is free for rate-limited use, and Serper also gives you 2,500 API calls for free as well. So, that shouldn't be an issue. Now that's enough talk. Let's get it set up and check it out. I'll be setting it all up locally with Grok, Serper, and Olama. First, go to Grok's site, get yourself signed up, and once you're signed up, log in. You'll see this screen. Go to the API Keys option and create a new key. Enter a name for your key, and it will get created. Once created, copy the key and keep it in a safe place, because you wouldn't want anyone else accessing it. Anyway, Keep it in a safe place, because we'll need this later. Once done, open up the Serper site, get yourself signed up, and once you are in, copy the key and keep it in a safe place. We'll also need this later. Now, go to Olama's site, click on the download button, then choose your operating system and get it downloaded. Once downloaded, get it installed. Once all that is done, open your terminal. Now, run this command. This will install the Nomic Embed Text embedding model. Once the command is executed, go to the LLM Answer Engine GitHub page. Now, scroll down and you'll find this Getting Started section. Now, make sure you have Node and NPM installed on your computer. If you don't have them, go to the Node.js site and follow each step to get them installed from there. It's pretty easy. Anyway, once you have all that done, run this first command. 
This will get this repo cloned on your computer. Once that's done, CD into the cloned folder. Now, run this npm install command. This will get the dependencies installed. Once done, open this folder in the editor of your choice, because we'll need to edit some files now. Once you have it opened in the editor, open this nv example file. Now, over here, paste your respective API keys, and once you have pasted the Grok and Serper keys, save this file as env. Once that's done, go to the apps folder and open the config tsx file. And over here, in the use Olima embeddings option, change it to true. And over here, in the embeddings model, change it to nomic embed text. Once it looks like this, save it. Now, run this npm run command. This will start the server. Go ahead and open localhost 3000 on your machine, and you'll see this screen. Now, you can ask it anything you want, and get all the search results and their summarization in one place. You can also see the sources it uses over here as well. It can also show you stock prices, maps, places, product prices, and whatnot. Pretty cool. Over here, I have asked it about Apple stocks, and as you can see, it shows me everything I need to know. You can also see the relevant images and videos over here as well. You can also ask follow-up questions through here, which is pretty cool, isn't it? It works pretty well, and is very similar to Perplexity. Although it doesn't have all those bells and whistles as Perplexity, it's still cool. You can also use it fully locally with Olama as well if you want. If you want to do that, make sure you get a model installed like Llama 3. Then, go to their app folder, and over here, go to the config file. Here, turn on the Olama inference option by writing true over here, and over here, change the model name to the model you want to use. Once done, save it. Restart the application, and it should start working. This way, it may take some time because it will need to manage both the embeddings and inference locally, which will obviously be hard on the GPU. But if you have a good machine, it should work pretty well. It's really easy to use, and you can get started with it in a few steps. I also like its flexibility, which allows it to be used both locally for privacy and, when you need super fast speeds, you can use it with Grok for amazing speeds. Pretty cool. I really like this one. Let me know if you'll be using it or not in the comments. Also, if you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below this video. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.